We now return to Monkey Island. Wait, wait. Toasty. Toasty. It's a torch I lit myself. Yeah. Then there's this one. The wind must have blown out the fire. It's way too high to reach. I do not know how to light that. I never figured it out. I don't know if there's something I'm missing here. Seems kind of like it would be used with this or something to launch it up there. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to look that one up. I don't, I don't even know if it's relevant to anything, but it might be an achievement or something. Anyway. What am I... Um... Got a scurvy island here. I don't actually remember what it, it takes to get to the... get in here. Oh yeah, I gotta prove that we know each other, that's right. Faster, guy, brush, faster. Hi. Stan Stanman is a marketing advisor. He's in jail, but maybe he can look at the pamphlet anyway? That guy could sell fleas to a dog and probably would. Just what we need, actually. Good idea. I'll go find Stan now. Thanks. So I wonder if that unlocks. No, it doesn't. Oh! No way. I don't want to lose my hand. Bird feed. It's not a ghost chicken. It's a seagull. So garbage then. Uh. I don't actually remember how I get that thing to go away. So to go somewhere else first. Hello. Slime heads. I'd like to buy some slime heads. Stout fellow. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. Okay. There's that. Somehow I don't think he's doing fine. That was such a nice sign. Wally? What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. These maps were Wally's life's work. At least I assume so. Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plundering. I wonder if I can take it. No. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck, obviously. Must all be all over this, then. This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Hello? Hmm. It's not like her to leave the place unlocked. 
Also, I smell brimstone and beard oil. LeChuck's been here, and that magical glow on the safe is new. I bet that's his work, unless it's Captain Lila. I don't know what this glow means, but I bet it means LeChuck, or Madison. Either way, I'd better find the keys soon. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Nothing else? You know, though, now that we have a key... Hi! Right, boy! How was your search? I've got a golden key. Then we're equal now. You come back when you got more than me. Maybe we can talk about something. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. No card respawn there. Hi there. Hi. I don't think so. She might try to claim it. Yeah, okay. We'll get out of here then. Ah! While we're here... What else do we have? No joke books. The Sea Monkey 2 is almost... Well, I guess we can get this. This one was actually difficult for me to figure out. Really a pain in the ass. Any chance you'll have the real flag on display anytime soon? Oh, no. Too valuable. It definitely stays in the storeroom. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Gotta get these edges perfect. Hmm, <laughs> Mum would be proud. I'm not sure what I'm waiting for now. I'll just leave the replica flag in its place. Maybe you won't notice the real flag is missing. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural Dummy. resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make do things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. Forgot to show Elaine the lure. Right, let's go. My brilliant deduction is that the museum is closed. Ah, shoot. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 by 15 and full of holes. <sighs> okay. Damn it. I'm going to have to get back to this. Um, I didn't need this closed just yet because it's going to prevent me from getting another achievement. Be right back. Alright, let's try this again. I don't need another fake flag. Okay, well, I must have to go do the other one first then. Never mind. Um, we need two because one is doing what we just did, swapping it, and the other is with the scurvy pirates. 
this here. So. Um, when we take their flag, we can uh, we can swap it out instead of just straight up steal it. Patrolling the deck, ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. So far, so good. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. So, um, obviously I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Math's not my best subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Where is everybody? Flambe's up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Remind me why Flambe still has a job. He doesn't do anything. He's handy to have around when we have to fix things below the waterline at night. Uh, don't tell the Chuck I was here, okay? No, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Okay, we're gonna need his joke book for uh, the contest, but he happens to have a greetings, lure fellow as well. chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale, a real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay, one time. My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Dazzling. I can see you're developing your flight feathers. Keep talking to other chums and you'll really learn to soar. I'll do that. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Ew. That's what we're after. It's Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Okay, there's nothing else in here we need. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Okay, that's really all we needed. Guess we can go look. Everybody else here? These things get more sophisticated every year. There's no reason to do anything with him. So we 
Hmm. I'll make this quick. Yeah, okay. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. We can't go back down and talk to Gullet. It's seen better days. Okay, we don't have anything we can do here yet. Back talk to Elaine. Do not remember how we get rid of that. We have to win a contest first. Hi. Hi. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. One time, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay, one time. My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. I think you've got it. This could be a whole new path for you, Guybrush. You know who you should talk to? Yasmin Tazi. Good pirate, great card player, grog connoisseur. Well, you can probably find her at the scum bar. She practically lives there. Thanks. Didn't I already talk to that one? Wasn't she the first one I talked to? Or did I completely skip that? Closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move, and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. Oh boy. Well, I mean, technically, this was, this was true. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden... I don't think this is right, though. I think there are actually, like, four different storylines. My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move, and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. 
Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. You're not half bad at this. You should go talk to the three geezers at the fish shop. And, uh, don't tell them I said they were geezers. Okay. Think. I save real quick. So I think I can tell, like, a different story completely than the, the whale one I've been doing. But as you can see, the options are not as Hello. flavorful. So what that makes me think is that if I use those on other people, each one gets better. Let's try it here. How's it going, chums? You have the confident look of a man with a story in his belly, just squirming to get out. But you really should show us the lure for official chums business. Mm. We like ritual in the chums. It's part of the fun. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden, our stringer took a strike from a smoker that turned out to be a mermaid. The crew wanted to have her for dinner. I mistook what they meant. Fortunately, the average salt can't tell the taste of mermaid from any grump you might find in your creel. I helped her escape when night fell. We still write from time to time. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. What did I get out of that? Become a high-ranking chum. Okay. Is it alright if I take this flag with me? That would be within your rights as a well-respected chum of the highest order. Seriously? Sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. Again? It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make two things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, a uh, coincidence. Why did... Why did that one... Oh, is it because... Oh, it's the first flag, because I... It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 yeah. by 15 and full of holes. Because we're in a different timeline now, that's why. Okay. All right. So I'm curious. Supposedly, you are supposed to be able to dive off of well, anywhere uh, on the map, and you will see some underwater locations, which are not only necessary for the purposes of... Uh... Oh, here we go. It's chained to my ship. It's necessary Fair. for the purposes of Anything achievement, on but also trivia. Ultimate obliteration. I never throw out a good piece of parchment. 
the Sea Monkey. My old ship was named after this plaque. Sea Monkey 2. Everybody loves a sequel. The thing about skulls is, you only get one. In any group of things, you'll always have a least favorite. This is a great skull. Eee, looks even grumpier than Murray. Are we somewhere? There's a skeleton without a head. Eee, looks even grumpier than Murray. I skipped These over were what pretty he said important there. before, so I'm gonna carry them around forever. Okay. Let's drop anchor and see what I'm happens. I'm not even mortal. And watch out below. Okay. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. Look at the uh, the clue that you just get right there from the blowfish. I long for the day that our roles are reversed, and it's your head stuck on the bow of the ship. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. What the? My lungs are full of delicious air again. down here okay so yeah like there's uh i don't know uh, there's several different types will be mine. of uh and it will scenes burn. down there and if you see all of them it is the achievement but let's just keep going okay well, i do have thing here. Let's see. Demon pepper. That ought to give it some zip. Into the Fender's chair to cast Aaron Stomikov, Othina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! <laughs> and in the Challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original team, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. It's filled with slime head and demon pepper. Mr. Driftwood, <laughs> we are waiting for you to place your... This may be a bit spicy. And now, let the eating commence! seems that both contestants are having some trouble. I declare this contest a draw. Contestants may now seek medical attention if they so desire. All right. So obviously that's the wrong way, and now we've got just a bunch of it still. What I can do... Put it back in here. And then we go get more. No. 
while we're here though, we may as well finish this one. Welcome, Your Majesty and Mr. Threepwood, to the Contest of Intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can, and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. So bear in mind that this thing drips every 15 seconds. I don't understand any of it, but I guess she knows what she's doing. Time's up. Okay. I'll take your bait. Can I say again? That shouldn't be. Hmm. Hmm. No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood has drawn a series of mustaches on the polynomial. Queen Odina is the winner. Better luck next time. Can't win that way, and we may as well finish this one, too. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. Yay! Yay! Yep, 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 yep. On this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda, and on this side, the challenger, Guybrush Threepwood currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. It'll take more than that to crack me up. Can I call it timeout? No. What do you call a parrot with one leg? Heard it. You might as well give up. I have heard every joke there is in this world. Contestants, the time limit has been reached. As neither of you has laughed, the contest is a draw. See ya. Okay. We need a joke book full of jokes that no one's ever heard before. So now we can possibly go get it from Applebaum. All right, I'll end this one here. We'll do the contest for real next time. <laughs>